Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. We knew today was going to be a roller coaster with the weather. The Division One baseball district games down at Carter Park were moved to tomorrow, but almost everything else went off without issues today. So we start with some regional softball. Down at Clyde, the NLL rivals Anthony Wayne and Springfield. Springfield won both of the matchups during the regular season, and they would strike first in this one. Already up 1-0, they would add to it. Courtney Chupetta brings home Riley Mercer. It's a 2-0 Blue Devils lead. But in the fourth, Anthony Wayne gets on the board. Sack fly here by Brooklyn Patchen would bring home Kennedy Cowan from third. It's a one-run game. Game was tied at three after seven, so we go to extras. Top eight, it's Cowan. Already with one homer in the game. Blast this one to straightaway center. Anthony Wayne beats Springfield in the bottom of the eighth. Four to three to advance to the regional final. I mean, it was great. Adrenaline running through me. I was so excited. I didn't believe it myself. We stayed up the whole time. You know, we never get down. Um, a saying we have is the game isn't over until it's over. We prepared both times. This time we had the opportunity to come out and we, we played our game, which is the long ball game with some pitching backed up behind it between Lauren Curry and Brooklyn Patchen. And uh, those dingers by Kennedy Cowan are incredible. To the D1 Baseball District semifinal from Tiffin University. St. Francis taking on a Perrysburg bottom of the first in this one. Jackets would jump out to an early lead. Ryan Thompson going the opposite way. That would fall in. Connor Wallenzak and Cam Darrington come in to score. And the Jackets lead early 2 to nothing. Later, go to the top of the third. Knights were down 7 nothing here, but they'd get a run back. Josiah Erd connects on one. It would drop. It would bring around a run. It would make it 7-1, to one, but the Jackets too much in this one. Hudson Smith, a perfect bunt here. Brings in Ben Robeson to extend the lead. Perrysburg wins 13-3 in five innings. We come in each game with a lot of confidence. We know that we're going to put, put a lot of runs up. But today we put 13 up on a good team. Um, we know we're going to go out there and we're going to swing it. Getting those runs early um, was really good. And, you know, we thought we could hit the ball, but uh, you never know until you get out there. And uh, Noah pitched really well. And, uh, you know, we've, other than a couple of mistakes not picking the ball up, I thought we played pretty well. And the other district semifinal from Tiffin University, St. John's taking on Northview. Bottom of the third inning in this one, and the Titans would get on the board first. This is a little dribbler. It gets past the first baseman. It would bring in Reese DeSalle from third. St. John's jumps out to a 1-0 lead. Go to the bottom of the fourth. St. John's base is loaded here. Carter Binkowski hits it out to the outfield. Watch Braden Tackett. That's Dan Cummins' grandson. A diving catch to save the inning. A beautiful diving grab. But the Titans just too much in this one. J.P. Wagner with a shot right back up the middle. Toth would come around to score. Part of a nine-run fifth inning for St. John's. They win it 10 nothing. Advance to the re re district final against Perrysburg. It's great, especially the bottom five, so we can end it. Not have to waste uh, Jake's arm, possibly we come back Friday. We'll see, but you just love to see it. We really needed to grind out at bats at first and, and, and kind of exhaust him out. That was our, kind of our approach. And then once uh, our guys just feed off each other, so when they start hitting, they just start hitting together. And it's, it's, it's awesome to watch. A couple final notes. The Mud Hens win again. That is now six out of seven. And the Tigers beat the Indians one to nothing tonight. Also, some high school league reshuffling continuing. Oak Harbor announcing they are leaving the Sandusky Bay Conference for the Northern Buckeye Conference. And there are still some moves ahead. So stay tuned. That is it for sports.